Hi everyone, this is a medium difficulty GMAT 650 to 700 level problem solving practice question a number properties question concept tested is properties of reminders. The way we are going to solve this question is we will read the question of course, we will basically state the property that we are going to use, we are not going to prove the property, we are not going to establish the property, we are just going to state what property is going to be used, apply the property to arrive at the answer right. Let us get started. When 242 is divided by a certain divisor, the remainder obtained is 8. 242 by a number, the remainder is 8. When 698 is divided by the same divisor, the remainder obtained is 9. When the sum of the two numbers, 242 and 698 is divided by the same divisor, the remainder obtained is 4. What we need to find out is what is the value of the divisor. The property or the rule that we are going to be using is, let us say the first number is A divided by a divisor D, the remainder obtained is R1. The second number is B divided by D, the remainder obtained is equal to R2. A and B for us are 242 and 698, R1 and R2 respectively are 8 and 9. Then the property is essentially when the sum of the two numbers A plus B is divided by D, the remainder obtained will be equal to R1 plus R2. This one overriding theme to keep in mind, the remainders that you get will always be taking values from 0 and it should be less than the divisor. In case this R1 plus R2 ended up being a value which is greater than or equal to the divisor, because remainders can never be equal to the divisor, the remainder can never be greater than the divisor. In essentially what we are saying is, see I cannot have a divisor being let us say a 15 and say the remainder is equal to a 17. Essentially what we will do, we will essentially say you missed out the quotient, you got a quotient which is lesser than that, you have to take one more quotient out and then say the final remainder is equal to 2 is what we will say. For example, let us say I am having a number 47 and I am dividing it by a 15. Obviously, we know the quotient is a 3 and the remainder is a 2. If I had made a mistake and told you that hey, hey, the quotient is a 2 and the remainder is a 17, you will say I have not taken out all the 15s that can be taken out. You took out only a 2, therefore you got a remainder of 17. You actually should take out 3. There are 3 15s contained in 47. So, the remainder is actually a 2. So, the remainder will always be a number which is less than or equal to the divisor. If this R1 plus R2 ended up being a number which is greater than if R1 plus R2 is greater than or equal to the divisor, then the final remainder is R1 plus R2 minus the divisor. If the sum exceeded the divisor, then we will basically subtract the divisor to arrive at something like this. We will say it cannot be a 17, it has to be a 2 is what we will end up saying. Now, let us take a look at what we have plug in all of these things, right. So, 242 divided by the divisor, the remainder obtained is 8, 698 divided by the divisor, the remainder obtained is equal to 9. So, 242 plus 698 divided by the divisor, we should get a remainder which is equal to 8 plus 9 which is equal to 17. For example, if the divisor had been a number which is a 40, can the remainder be a 17? Certainly, yes because 17 is a number which is less than less than 40. On the other hand, if the divisor had been let us say a 15, we cannot say that the remainder is equal to 17. We would have subtracted the divisor once from it and then arrived at the remainder. Now, what does this question tell us? It says, hey, when 242 plus 698 is divided by the divisor, the remainder is not the 17 that you have got, the remainder is actually a 4 is what they are saying. What would have happened? This 17 would have been a number which was greater than the divisor that we subtracted the divisor once from it to arrive at the remainder. So, let us do that here. So, what we have is essentially R1 plus R2 is equal to a 17. Unless this had been a value which is greater than or equal to the divisor, we would not have got 4 as the value. So, what we would have done is we would have taken the 17, subtracted the divisor once from it and arrived at the final remainder translating to the fact that the divisor is equal to a 17 minus 4 which is equal to 13. Check out the answer options, 13 is basically choice C, choice C is the correct answer to the question.